I didn't get your ear. I'm well aware of where your ear is. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, so for this week, we're going to be doing kind of like a weird smart grooming show tidy video. And so Brooklyn has so kindly offered up her horse, BC. And no, he is not drunk. He's just falling asleep. Um, so I will start with his feet. So I've got a lot of different things in here. Some of them are from smart grooming. I have like a little wall clipper, um, but I have two sets of scissors. One is curved, one is flat. Um, but I'll kind of go around and just start, I guess. So I like to use scissors for the pet box, the curved ones in particular, um, just because I find sometimes if they move their feet with the clippers, when I have them out, um, it like takes a big old chunk out and nobody's a fan of that. And these guys stay pretty sharp on their own. Um, I really enjoy them. So I will start on this side. So I get the straight ones out to the bottom portion of this foot. Um, the smart grooming scissors I have are blunt ended. So there's actually a safety end and it's not because I'm a child and don't know how to use scissors. It's because I don't like poking horses and horses are unpredictable. No one has a good time when horse feet are poked. So I think this gives it a nice finished look. Again, I'm really comfortable with BC because I've done this a lot on him. So, um, but it gives it a nice finished look without looking like unnatural, like somebody buzzed the back end of their foot. But my little belt, I actually also got from Smart Grooming and I got all the different knickknacks separate, but they sell them in a package together. So if you want all the things and you don't want to spend the extra dollars like I did, you can just do it packaged away. He grows a lot less hair on his back feet. I'm just trying to get these little guys I'm seeing here. And whenever you're doing these kind of things, make sure you like pull out the little tiny hairs because sometimes the way they're sitting, like you're like, oh wow, that did not look like that when I was doing that a second ago. Well, yeah, it's hair, it moves. Perfect. I'll come back on this one and then I'll actually do the back of his legs here in a second. I laugh because like this front right one's like the thickest. Like it's like way thicker than like the rest of them. Take teeny tiny clippers that are like little tiny wall clippers. The rest of my clippers are all awaiting blades and or their blades are being sharpened. And these little straight here, I will just go through and get all the little hairs so that whenever Brooklyn goes to put hood polish on her pony, with this nice finished look. The big part here is making sure that we don't move our foot because if he moves his foot, I'll take off more hair than I want. And you don't ever want to get super close. So if you watch, like there's still like a good bit of space between where the hair like kind of starts to feather out and where I'm clipping. Because if you go too far up, there's actually different layers to the hair. So you'll get a really bad bowl cut look more so than you'll get a nice finished hoof. There you go. And again, it should be that easy just to like go through and barely get it. I know, he's like, wait a second. Again, super comfortable with BC. So if you're going around doing this on like people's horses you don't know, take an extra bit of caution. But BC is pretty cool. Perfect. And again, if you're not super passionate about grooming and don't have a show horse, like, I don't recommend. <laughs> but I find the more you like something, the better you get at it. And the more detail oriented you are. And for something like this, you need to be a good bit detail oriented. because. You are talking about turnout on someone's horse. All right, so good feet. We're done. And it looks much tidier now. Doesn't, it, you don't think it makes a big difference when you look and you're like, oh, okay. Like you're not missing, or you are missing here. So next thing I'll do, species favorite thing is stuff on his face um, and his mane. So 
His mane is long, and I actually really like his mane. It's like a decent thickness. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Brooklyn, I'm gonna steal your chair. I'll go through, and he doesn't have a very thick mane, so I feel decently comfortable using just my comb to go through it first. And Brooklyn takes very good care of her pony. So when she grooms before she rides, she brushes his mane as well. <laughs> Not just where the saddle goes. If I go up here, are you gonna? Just curious. It's not gonna touch your ears. There we go. You are gonna do the thing, aren't you? Okay. Before <laughs> I die. Not. Ah! Okay. Yeah, fine. We'll just do the main first. I'll even include the portion that I guess is going in your bridal path for this scenario. His mane's like a good thickness, but for the look, you're gonna want it a bit thinner. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna thin through it first. So we use a little comb, and then we have our thinning blade here. It's like quite the beefy tool. Ta-da. Um, I'm pretty sure I got coarse version. They didn't have the medium version when I first got it. So you'll just go through here and brush down. And obviously you've already felt through his mane or her mane at this point. So you should know where the thicker spots are, where there's calyx. And you're obviously gonna spend more time where it's thicker because the goal is to get the mane all to the same evenness. Be conscious of calyx because calyx don't take as much hair to be shorter. The main rake, I would say it's on the higher end of the tidying budget, but it's well worth it. All of these things that I have in the video, I've had for a while and they last. They don't really need sharpened too often. I find they're still perfectly fine. So his mane is obviously thinner down here, so I won't spend as much time. See, that's the thing about me having the coarse version. It doesn't pick up any hair when it's like, oh, it's not coarse enough. So here we're still getting a good bit of hair. So keep going through. And you're not gonna wanna thin it too much because you will go back through and thin again just to make it look a bit more even. But we've got it to this nice thinner length now. And again, thinning will take a little bit off, not a ton, but like with horses that have like ranch pony manes, it'll take a little bit. So stacky. It's shocking. Okay. So we have our leveling knife. They have a collapsible version of it, but I use the non collapsible version of it because I find it's a little sturdier. Um, and again, you're going to want to like start a little bit longer in the front, especially if the horse is like a little bit head shy because you want to be able to go back and fix anything. If you make a mistake, I know. I know. I'm the worst. I get it. I think that's a decent one. That's the thing. The first run through doesn't need to be beautiful or anything. The problem is too, is a lot of this is like his bridal path hair. So I'm like trying to not. So again, the point of this is like, you know, with scissors, you get this nice, fine, straight line. I don't want a straight line. We want like a more natural look. The start is always harder because it's usually the thinner spot. You'll have horses where it's the thicker spot, but for the most part, it's thinner. He's got such fine hair. The, the thickness isn't fine. I don't know. It's a weird way to describe it, but if you've been around horses long enough, it makes sense. Okay, so I think that's a decent length. So I'll just go through. And again, if you're not sure what it's going to do afterwards, I just kind of go a little bit lower than where I was because you can always take length off, but you can't get hair back. So. like 
offered like stray hairs or like chunks that are like not right again the thinning knife will kind of offset anything that now looks like a little too straight does that make sense so this is the section that Zoe has not gotten along with When, you want to, when you're doing this, make sure you raise it off the coat a little bit too, because if it's on the coat, you'll actually accidentally snip their hair. It, you can't really tell the difference in the summer, but in the winter, when they have long hair and you accidentally snip a chunk of their hair. <laughs> I mean, this is just feathering. It's what people do with people hair. It just gives a more natural appearance, so you don't have a five-star bowl cut. And that is his mane. Again, it's kind of staticky right now but it is level and even, and that makes me happy. And I love his mane, super good. So, all good things, all good things. And BC's a good boy for it. So now it's the stuff BC doesn't like <laughs> necessarily. Um, so what I'm gonna do is since he's been letting me touch him with scissors, I'll go ahead and scissor his bridal path and then go over it with the blade just to make life a little easier. We're gonna go with scissors first, because He's not on any sedatives or anything, so again, you want it to be as pleasing of an experience as possible, regardless. And he's not an Arabian, so he doesn't need a forever long bridal path. Just enough so that it's out of Brooklyn's way and it looks classy. So. I'm gonna go this way first. Again, these are really teeny tiny clippers that are not meant for anything more than this kind of work. So whatever little bit I can do for them to help prolong them, I am going to. Hopefully. And I wanna make a nice clean line. So I will. And there you have it, folks. Nothing special, just the bridal path. <laughs> I usually use a larger pair of clippers. And these are what we had today since my blades are in the shop. And this is not helping very much. Too cold. We're gonna scissor it first and then go. And you can't itch. And this is why blunt and scissors are good. <laughs> because we decided we wanted to shove scissors down our ears now. Okay, so we should have gotten most of this hair out. Now we're going to go over it with teeny tiny clippers. Hopefully. I don't always do whiskers, and for those of you who like don't live here, because I know a portion of my audience isn't from the U.S. And in the hunters, and in hunt seat, they've made it a thing where whiskers don't exist. So like on my personal horse, I don't do whiskers just because I don't care that much. And he seems perfectly content with that and he's doing fine with them. But some people prefer whiskers to get, but I don't think it makes a big difference. I mean, they're just tactile hairs and they grow back. I mean, you know, when you're a kid and you're told, like, oh, if you cut a dog's whiskers, like, they'll never grow back. Well, I find my dog's whiskers at least once a week, <laughs> chilling on my bed. Again, I, mean, I obviously don't put my dog's whiskers. I have two short-haired dogs, so I don't really... The thing is, everything people do in research and stuff is all subjective, so, you know, it's human bias is eminent, and we really don't know how they feel. Cat hair is not because of their appearance, but the sound that Zoe makes when she takes them off. No. <laughs> that 
is about par for the course, about how it goes. Anytime, <laughs> it's like mom, anytime a hunter owner wants me to do their horses um, tidy up before a show. Again, Brooklyn doesn't show anything big, but she has an open show that I will actually be attending and you guys will see a video on. Um, so, bridal path, ears. Um, again, I don't always do ears, whiskers. It just depends on the owner's preference because everyone has their own opinions about those things. And so, I don't ever want to disrespect anybody's opinions, but, you know, my horse doesn't get his ears done. I'll do the outside of his ears, but he's also a gorilla, so, like, the inside of his ears are really cool. Like, they're, like, highlighted. So, I like to leave them. And then his whiskers is just... It fits his personality. So, but yep, yeah, got everything done. I'm excited to see them, I'm sure, in our little video. Um, when we're at the show, you'll see at least some of them somewhere. So, cool. But I'm glad you guys watched. Like, subscribe, come along for the ride.